One problem. I find giving feedback uncomfortable. Every time I've tried it, the person acts defensively. Two things to remember. While feedback should always be objective, it doesn't always have to be negative. Feedback is just as useful when it's highlighting and praising good work and behaviours. Even if it is a little uncomfortable, always remember the simple fact that providing feedback is an investment in the other person. You're taking your time to help that person even though you know it might be uncomfortable. That's a pretty selfless thing to do and done right is always valuable. Three practical tips. Remember to keep the feedback objective. You should focus on a specific act or behaviour and talk just about that. This will help to divorce some emotion from the process so the person receiving the feedback can better understand that you're not attacking them. Make sure that you listen carefully to the person receiving the feedback. It's vital that the process is a two-way discussion. The person getting the feedback should have an opportunity to have their side of the story heard and know that you are listening and understanding. It's important that you provide some basic framework to the feedback. Explain why you're giving feedback. Try to establish a cause for the need for feedback. Provide the feedback. Discuss some solutions. And finally, agree on some follow-up actions. This framework will help to further objectify your process and make it feel less like a personal slight. Four do's and don'ts. Do be careful to pick an appropriate time and place to provide feedback. A safe environment is very important. Don't use feedback as an excuse to be mean or unkind to anyone. It's not an excuse or reason for you to vent your frustrations. Do try to strike the right balance between encouraging and constructive feedback. No one wants to be hearing or delivering bad news all the time. Don't let your emotions dictate any feedback. Always be sure to remain calm and collected when delivering feedback. Five things to try. Share with your team some of your expectations around feedback so that they know everyone should expect to hear some feedback during the normal course of work. This will help your individual team members to understand that they're not being singled out when they do get feedback. Make sure your team know that feedback is a developmental tool. The more they realise that it's less about complaining and more about supporting, the happier they'll be about receiving it. Let the team know that you're not going to stop providing feedback and that you expect them to receive it in the right way. There's some best practice when it comes to receiving feedback as well as providing it. Listen, avoid interrupting to defend yourself, Think before responding. Ask questions to clarify your understanding. Discuss why the feedback is being given and why it's important. Reflect on the feedback. Say thank you, even if you don't agree. Even if the process of providing feedback is awkward, don't forget that it's a critical part of business and most of the time the individual, team and wider business will all benefit as a result of the feedback being acted upon.